Hello everyone, VMS has many powerful functions. In this video, we will mainly introduce VMS people counting. People counting is necessary in many scenarios. For example, in famous scenic spots, if it does not manage the real-time number of people, some unfavorable situations may occur, such as reducing the tourist experience, causing damage to the scenic spots and public facilities. Therefore, UNVIP camera with people counting function can effectively manage personnel. They can count people by recording the number of people crossing the line. Or recording the real-time number of people in a designated area. When the number of people exceeds the set threshold, the IP camera will initiate a linkage operation, such as alarm pop-up prompts, information release, and control of access. IP cameras can also be combined for people counting management. For example, an IP camera can be installed at each entrance of a scenic spot, recording the number of people entering and leaving each exit. IP cameras are connected to VMS through LAN or WAN, transmitting the recorded data to VMS for unified analysis and management. The real-time number of people in the scenic spot can be calculated by adding the current total number of people in the scenic spot to the total number of people entering and subtracting the total number of people leaving. VMS can support up to 256 IP cameras connections and support view historical records. VMS can also divide IP cameras into different areas for separate management. Up to 8 areas can be created, with a maximum of 32 IP cameras per area. For example, the function can be used to manage multiple venues separately in a scenic spot. IP cameras in Hall A can record the number of people entering and leaving to calculate the total number of people entering, leaving, and present in Hall A. VMS can also calculate the number of people present in the entire scenic spot, based on the current number of people, plus the number of people entering, minus the number of people leaving, in both Hall A and Hall B. Currently, VMS does not support custom data conversion between IP cameras. So it is recommended to set up an IP camera at each entrance of each area. VMS people counting is suitable for various scenarios. For example, chain stores can count the customer's interest in product areas and adjust subsequent product planning. VMS also provides an SDK for third-party integration, transmitting people counting related data to third-party platforms for their respective business display. Then we will demonstrate the practical application of VMS people counting. First, add the necessary front-end people counting IP cameras to VMS. As shown in the operation, since many cameras have already been added, only one front-end camera will be added as an example here. The IP of the added IPC is 192.168.1.235. It should be noted that the front-end IP camera must be an intelligent device. Otherwise VMS cannot recognize it in the people counting interface. Select People Counting in the main menu of the VMS client. In the People Counting interface of VMS, we can choose to view real-time data and historical data. Here, let's first view the real-time data. Click the plus sign of People Flow Counting to create a corresponding area. For example, named Test Area. Select the three threshold values for VMS alarms. When the number of people in the underlying IP camera exceeds the threshold, a corresponding alarm will be triggered. Select the IP camera of 192.168.1.235 that was just added and the previously added 192.168.1.62 as the IP cameras under the test area. Then select OK. It should be noted that the front-end IP camera needs to enable the people counting function and do related configuration, such as drawing configuration lines. After selecting the created test area area, you can see the live view of the underlying IP cameras. Click the magnifying glass next to test area and VMS will analyze and summarize the data of the underlying IP cameras and display the relevant information of the real-time number of people entering and leaving. In the historical query module, you can view the historical data of different areas. 
For example, for test area, you can query the historical data of the underlying IP cameras. You can also modify the minimum granularity of historical data, such as minutes, hours, days, months, and select the corresponding time period.